Well, hello, my gorgeous Pisces. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Julie here with your love reading for mid-March right through to mid-April 2020. I'm just cleansing your space here and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are turning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your likes, subscribes and your shares and for all the wonderful inspirational messages you've been putting below. I'm slowly going through those, so please bear with me. I'll get back to you shortly. Um, I'm completely overwhelmed by all of your gorgeous energy, so thank you so much. Um, just a little reminder that this is a general reading. It may not resonate for everybody. Please take what is for you and leave the rest behind. As a side note, um, just a reminder, for those of you who want to still win the ring, I'm going to um, do a, a ring like this, make one. I make my own jewelry. This is not a sales pitch. I'm just giving back to one lucky subscriber to thank you for uh, spending time in my energy. All you have to do to win this ring is put an inspirational quote in the box below and I will pick one lucky subscriber there. Um, to uh, win this ring and I will send it over. I just want to raise everybody's vibrations, want to give back uh, to say thank you so much for spending time with me. I'll probably do this on an ongoing basis because so many people have been so wonderful reaching out and um, yeah, so I just want to give back and say thank you. Anyway, I'll start waffling and I'll get straight to your reading Pisces. This is why you're here. Uh, thank you so much, spirit guides, guardian angels. Let's get straight to the reading. What do my beautiful Pisces, wow. <laughs> what do you need to know as we're heading, right. You need to know that we're in temperance mode, okay? But we're not just in temperance mode, Pisces. It's in reverse, okay? So um, there's been a bit, as we're starting in mid-March here, uh, there's been a bit of a, a disruptive mode um, as you're heading on into uh, mid-March. Now we have just dealt with a retrograde in Mercury, so there's been a, a lot of disruption with communication, but also it's been raising old emotions from the past um, that you thought you dealt with, okay? Now that is, uh, as you're coming out of um, sort of the beginning of March into mid-March. So what we're saying is that residue energy, this uh, sort of chaotic um, feeling of, maybe feeling out of control even, um, this disruptive energy is how you're starting to head into mid-March. You're coming out of it, it's been in Pisces, it's been a bit of a ringer, so it's been in your sign, okay? So you feel emotions incredibly deeply, and I know that's a cliche for a lot of people to say, but you do, you've got a lot of depth there and you're very sensitive. And because Mercury was in retrograde in your sign, Pisces, it was really tugging on your heartstrings there. It was really making you evaluate a lot of things. You felt a little bit out of control emotionally. You've been feeling very like oversensitive almost. You're not going crazy. I'm just letting you know it was the retrograde in Mercury, okay? And it was really doing a number in your sign, okay? So this is the energy um, as we're heading into mid-March. You've, you've just got that disruptive kind of um, excess feeling of just being out of control a little bit. But that was the, the Mercury retrograde. You're coming through that now, okay? And you're gonna regain your balance, I'm sure of it. Spirit will let me know exactly what's going on. Uh, but that's as you're heading on into mid-March, okay? So that should all go away because obviously Mercury um, just leaves your sign there and uh, leaves you a little bit alone. So, oh no, I can't take those. They're just flipping over there. Um, for those of you who are new to my channel, I take cards that jump right out of the pack. I feel that spirit uh, giving me the cards you need to know and um, the messages like those uh, that you need to, well, there we go. Um, I don't pick the cards myself. I feel that's my energy. Yeah. So here we go. You've been feeling really um, fed up <laughs> with this kind of energy, this, this disruptive, something's been going on Pisces in terms of your love life. It's not been going the way you wanted to. Um, you feel very unfulfilled, okay? There's a lot of apathy going on. You're feeling fed up. Um, you're looking at the past a little bit. So yeah, again, this speaks of the retrograde um, being in your sign there in Mercury. Um, and it, it's just, you know, old wounds kind of like resurfacing or, you know, even if it's like your friend uh, betrayed you with a correspondence many years ago or a confidence many years ago, you're feeling that. You know, if um, your mom said something to you that you didn't agree with, they didn't like your partner choice many years ago, that comes back up to the surface. You know, you're dealing with a, an ex who was, you know, a, 
horrible person let's put it that way um, and you know you're dealing and they've done a number on you you're feeling that some of those emotions have popped up and you're just feeling fed up it's like when is it your turn to have like this really romantic kind of um, love that uh, is giving as much as it is taking where is the balance for you okay now for those of you Pisces who are in a relationship at the moment you're also feeling that energy where you're like, why is something's not right? I don't understand. Something's completely off and you're feeling unfulfilled at the moment with whatever relationship you're in. And that doesn't mean you don't want to be with a person. It means that something isn't right right now. So therefore you're feeling slightly, you know, that apathy, that feeling unfulfilled. But spirit is saying, look, Look what you got coming in there, Pisces. You have a beautiful gift from the universe. They're about to hand you something really interesting um, in terms of your love life. Um, whether you are single or in a relationship, they have a lot of abundance to give you. And it is divine timing and it is a gift from the universe. But Spirit saying, stop looking at the past. Stop looking at what you think you you know, the only options that you have when you actually should keep your eyes open for this wonderful gift you're about to receive. Now, um, this card often speaks about, um, you know, looking at the past, thinking about things that just went wrong and um, missing the opportunity to see this wonderful surprise gift because you're too busy looking at your shoes, Pisces. Stop looking at your shoes. Look up. C continue looking around you because spirit is putting something in your path love wise that is about to give you a beautiful surprise okay and the surprise is a knight of swords okay with a knight of swords it's a very um <laughs> it speaks of like a lifestyle change almost but when you've got like a knight of swords passing on through um this is someone you'll meet who is really like very honest cuts the bs gets straight to the point and is charging on through there but this could also speak of your energy of being in your head okay you're just like a mile a minute with this stuff right now this you're you're in the element of air with this card um, which deals with the intellect okay but you could be meeting um a very fast talking person um when we are talking about uh, mid mid march but i feel this person is more to give you advice this person um is not a romantic um i'm not getting a romantic ovation from this person i'm getting more of this person that you meet kind of changes your perception on life a bit and gives you some advice okay it's almost like they're giving you a bit of a lifestyle um pep talk Pisces. I don't know if that makes sense to you. That'll be mid-March um, time. Um, as we're coming at the other side of mid-March um, is what I'm feeling here. Um, but they help you with a lifestyle change. And it's almost like they're telling you, Pisces, when you're in love, you want it all. You want this big romantic, um, not fantasy. I'm not saying that what you want isn't uh, achievable. But what I'm saying is you give a lot, Pisces, in order to have that perfect love relationship where everything is rosy all the time you give a lot to keep that in balance okay and to keep that um wonderful um beauteous kind of like energy going between you and your partner and it is hard pisces it's hard work there's a lot of energy that you're giving out now if you meet a partner who's giving you the exact same amount of energy back then you got it made. That is a perfect union for you. But Pisces, you've been dealing with some people who are just take, 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 and you are, your energy is drained, okay? So that's why you're feeling fed up and you're feeling like, you know, you're, you're not in balance because you've given too much. So you're a little bit empty for yourself. You've always got to remember to keep some back for you, Pisces, because you can't give if you're not full. Am I right? So the Spirit is saying, remember... You know, not in a selfish way, but you, you're you important and you come first, okay? And when you are full, then you can give. But don't give too much. You want the other person to step up to the plate. And this person here, this Knight of Wands, sorry, Knight of Swords energy is going to come on in and give you a few pointers, okay? And um, I'm not the, the Knight of uh, Swords energy for your pointers. You're going to meet this person in your daily life who's going to say, you know what? maybe you should do this. And you're like, oh, I never thought of it like that. Or 
hey, how about you think about this? It's almost like they're gonna have a really positive effect on you and you're gonna make some lifestyle changes which are just gonna benefit you for the better, okay? The Judgment card, absolutely love this card. When you've got the Judgment card there, this is gaining clarity. You, It's almost like this person comes in, gives you advice and you're like, oh, I get it. And it's not because you've been missing anything, Pisces. It's just when you're in love, we all put the other person on a pedestal, okay? And Spirit is saying, hey, you get on that pedestal too. You two should both be on the pedestal. There should be an even uh, footing for both of you. And Pisces, unfortunately, because you're such a beautiful, open, giving soul, you often put that person on the pedestal and you remain at the bottom trying to make that person happy. Now, you don't realize maybe you're doing it. It's just you're just giving constantly and you've got an awakening coming, okay? This is just after mid-March here with this judgment card. You're gaining clarity, okay? And it's almost, as I said, like this wake-up call. But I feel like this person who comes in gives you this lifestyle change but they also kind of nudge you onto your life's purpose you you like a new path i don't know they're just uh, they give you some solid advice there that you think oh i could uh, use that advice across the board not just in my love situation so this person's really important to you okay but also because we got the judgment card this is spirit whispering in your ear okay as you can see the message is being received by you loud and clear pisces to make some changes all those people there at the bottom they've got their arms up you are now open and ready to listen okay and that says we're um just after mid-march there okay this is gaining clarity you make a final decision pisces and you stick with it and the pisces uh, sorry your pisces decision is you're not gonna give too much. And I know that sounds like a really um, kind of basic decision, but it's really hard when you're in love. You just wanna shower the person that you're with with everything that you've got to give. We all do it, we're all hu human. But unfortunately, not everybody is the same as you, Pisces. They don't wanna give it their all. They like to receive, okay? And sometimes they're just not capable of giving it all, so therefore, they take a lot and sometimes they actually feed and take more energy off you because you're very um, open emotionally and, and very giving that they will take a little bit more than is necessary, leaving you with very little. Okay, that's what Spirit want me to tell you. So whoever needs to receive that message, um, I've just got it out there for you. But this is about, yeah, this wake up call. It's all, It's almost like you've got like a, a finally now i get it now i get it and spirit is saying once you're in that mode then we're going to send you especially you single pisces we're going to send you um a solid person uh love foundation like you know they're going to send you someone who really means business when it comes to being in a partnership and who is ready to give you what you deserve pisces and for those of you who are in a relationship you pisces you know, you're feeling that something's not right in the relationship, you're given too much, you will meet this person who gives you this wonderful advice, you have this aha moment, and it will set you in, in motion to make some changes in your relationship, okay? It will set you on a new path. So um, you have that coming in. It's all for your highest good, Pisces, so don't fight it. Thank you so much. Yeah, new perspective. Look at this. We have the hangman, okay? The hangman is this wisdom, okay? You've been doing a lot of self-sacrifice, Pisces, both singles and those who are already in a partnership. You've been self-sacrificing across the board and um, you have to gain this new perspective. I feel like the energy of the retrograde has really shaken you to your core, but in doing so, it has really uh, unveiled uh, where the cracks are at okay it's almost like you knew something was off you weren't sure about it something wasn't working you know and then uh the retrograde came in you felt a bit out of control you're like what's going on here it's very disruptive around here i'm not feeling my usual and it exposed where you need to build a better foundation in terms of your love relationship and not giving too much, okay? So the hangman is at the center of your reading and it's the strongest card with the first card, which is the temperance in reverse. So out of this disruption, spirit is saying comes 
this clarity, this balance, this wisdom that you've gained a different perspective with. So you can see this is the tree of life in this uh, traditional tarot. It's the Rider Waite tarot, the tree of life, the tree of knowledge, okay? And you have tied yourself to it on purpose. You did it yourself. You've got self-gained wisdom because you're now listening to your instincts. And this is just after mid-March as we're heading on into the end of March here. But this different perspective has been gained. And now you can proceed and have a better foundation when it comes to love, Pisces, okay? And for those who are single, as I said, that's when spirit will send in a love situation that is more suited to you and your new perspective. And for those of you who are in a relationship, thank you so much, Spirit. For those of you who are in a relationship, you need to have a talk with your partner and be like, you need to level up, okay? Because I've been feeling this way and now I've got some new perspective. Let's make some changes around here. And what have you got? Wow. Wow, Pisces. Come on, double arcana, major arcana right at the beginning. Double major arcana. Um, right at the beginning of your new awakening, this new clarity moment. So you have the world card. This talks of, um, you know, a completing of a cycle. You know, you, you've, um, you've learned a lot of lessons here, okay? And you've come through the other end. It's been a tough ride. You've been through the ringer and you felt really um, like thrown off your center, okay? Uh, but Spirit says, yeah, this was the right way to, it, we had to do it this way. I'm really sorry because with that gains you victory okay you gain this balance also you've got the four elements turning up in the card you've got the victory wreath you have the world okay this is a beautiful card you gain so much insight with this awakening and this clarity that it sets the precedence for how you proceed in love relationships from now on and you get what you give pisces okay what are you gonna get you're gonna get the sun card. This is absolute happiness. This is the, one of the best cards in the deck that you could get, which is the happiness card. Okay, so we we'll just leave the world. You've got the world there. Also, some of you may be traveling. Okay, just um, that is, is also an addition, additional message that comes with this card uh, about traveling or emigrating. Okay, so some of you may take a break there in order to just get your head straight, Pisces. You know, you gain the clarity and you're like, okay, I'm feeling a little bit new. So I want to take a short break and I want to just come back completely refreshed and I know where my head's at. But then also, more importantly, I know where my heart's at. Okay. And it gains this huge, bright happiness, this abundance. It's like almost everything's just going to come flowing right to you. Pisces, okay? Um, at the beginning of March there, 70% um, of the planets were on the western side, so that meant a lot of, um, most of the um, star signs, uh, the horoscopes and everything, uh, most of the signs, excluding poor Virgo, but most of the signs didn't have to work for what they wanted. It was going to come to them, okay? They were just using manifestation and it was going to come, and they didn't have to work very hard for it. Okay, but Virgo sadly had to work for it. Um, but with the Sun card here, this is about you um, gaining this um, clarity. So you've worked for it. In, uh, they're saying to me that you've worked for it through your emotions. Okay, you haven't had physical work, but you've been through the ringer in your emotions. So you deserve it because that was hard enough work as it is. That's what they want you to know. Okay. And coming to you is this, this happiness, this joyous outcome of the situation. Now, for those of you who are single, it means it's lit a huge path for you to find the person of your dreams. Okay. It's a successful outcome in terms of your love situation. And for those of you who are in a relationship and want to, um, find some sort of balance and gain a happier outcome for this relationship, Spirit says, yes, that will now happen because you've gained the clarity, you've made the changes, you've got a different perspective and you speak up. It's the end of the cycle. It's the end of you taking what um, people just give you. You know, you're saying, hang on a minute, what about me? What about me? Let's change this up. So Spirit is saying this freedom comes from that realization moment. And for those of you singles, um, thank you so much. Yeah, strength. Okay, Leo, 
this is a Leo card, so some of you may have a Leo coming on in there because they were just telling me that for those of you who are single, when you're in this beaming happiness, you attract to you. So you will attract admirers to you, okay? You have to believe in yourself though, Spirit saying, remember self-love. Pisces is a huge message to you. Self-love, unconditional self-love and respect. That's what they want you to know, okay? And you have to have courage during this time because sometimes it feels like when you're out of balance and you feel a bit out of control because of that Mercury retrograde there at the beginning, you think, oh my gosh, am I going to gain that clarity again? Am I going to gain that, uh, be back in balance? Yes, you are. But it will be on the other side towards the end of March as we're heading on into April. Have courage. But please remember this love and respect for yourself, okay? Ask for what it is that you want. Don't continuously just give, okay? And as I said, I was asking Spirit um, about you having um, what comes next after the happiness because it's almost like they're lighting the way to this new relationship for you singles um, out there. And a Leo card came up. So some of you could be dealing with that Leo there. Um, but they will tell me in the clarification um, what to expect. <laughs> Yeah, you're going to get this emotional um, fulfillment there, okay? This is um, this is a Scorpio card, but more um, than anything, I feel like someone who would be interested in you in a love sense is a Leo. And um, you, this card with the Queen of Cups brings um, that healing, um, nurturing kind of uh, supportive um, energy um, as we're heading on into um, the middle of April there, okay? It's almost like you're, you're settled and you're ready. You're ready now to receive uh, a new cycle for love. Uh, that's, they're kind of saying that there is an emotional stability there. Um, it's very, uh, how can I, it's, it's a refreshing energy there for you that um, has you sitting in your power and you've gained all the knowledge that you need to. You're now just waiting for those of you who are single, you're now just waiting for spirit, for the universe to send on in the partner that you've been trying to manifest. But you've been in this, um, you've been in this gaining clarity mode and how to do things differently um, as we're going through mid-March into mid-April. So just because uh, the foundational read hasn't shown up uh, a particular lover per se, uh, doesn't mean they're not coming. Um, we've got this Leo energy. We'll find out some more. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, for the message so far. Can we please clarify um, what's going to happen after this happiness comes through? After the Sun card, can we please clarify um, the love situation for my beautiful Pisces um, once they're over this very um, disruptive energy that came from the retrograde? What do they need to know in terms of their love situation? Um, I feel I'm asking this question um, once we're in the beginning of April. Beginning of April for my beautiful, do you want those? Um, beginning of April. Um, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian. Oh, no, that's too many. I can't take those. Thank you. Ooh, there was a real um, strange kind of push on those cards. I don't know if you saw that. Um, it was very um, fed up. <laughs> fed up energy. Fed up. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Thank you so much, Spirit. Um, they just asked me to change the energy. Um, can I please have one card to clarify this reading for my beautiful Pisces? What do they need to know? Thank you so much. Um, I didn't want to ask just then, but they said, please do not mention the disruptive energy when we're clarifying. I was like, okay. Uh, yeah, Three of Cups. You have a celebration coming on in, okay? It's like you're out with your friends and you're just... You're celebrating this revelation kind of moment where you're just feeling really good in your skin, Pisces. You are coming together in union and your, your cups are overflowing. Friendship is amazing. You know, you've got a good circle of support there with those three of cups. And um, in a very pure energy, these people have got your back, Pisces. Uh, they're really coming together to support you. And um, thank you so much. Oh, no, we got the four cups again. Spirit is... Oh, okay, Pisces. Okay. So we got double four cups here, okay? Now, in the traditional Rider Wait to Row, we're talking about, you know, looking at the past and not seeing a new opportunity coming on in there for you. But when we got this deck, Pisces, 
we're talking about the X, okay, with the Four of Cups. Um, this is the Fountain Tarot by uh, Jonathan Suze. As you can see there, this person again is feeling unfulfilled. Now your ex could be thinking about you, or you're thinking about your ex. You're spending time in the past. You know, this person, look, they're fed up. They've been drinking, they're, they're feeling sorry for themselves. They're just fed up. They've drunk the four, uh, they've drunk three cups on the ground. They're just, you know, they're not feeling it. They're just in a bit of a depression. And, uh, you know, maybe some of you are drinking to drown your sorrows and you just can't see that love could be for you right now. You really can't see it because you're not looking at it. Look, there's, there's the cup. Spirit is saying, there it is. You just kind of look. Stop looking at the past. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Again, they've said to me, stop looking at your shoes, Pisces. Stop looking at your shoes. Look up. So, um, yeah, please don't be offended. This is the message they're giving me. I'm just giving the message. So, um, yeah, please don't be looking at your shoes. Don't be looking at the past. There is nothing to serve you there, Pisces. They're saying there is nothing to serve you there. The, the, the future is for you, okay? The future is for you. Get out of your pajamas, your PJs there, and stop drinking. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Um, and this could be your ex, as I said. This could be your ex who's feeling that way about you. And is going to, if if we get a reunion card here, they'll probably try and pop up and try and contact you. But I'm feeling this is more your energy, Pisces. You're a bit fed up about the past. And uh, thank you so much. Wow, I thought this was too many, but they've said, no, you have to take these. So, um... This is, this is quite an interesting spread that's just come out for you, so I'm not surprised that they want you to have it all. Um, <clears throat> so what they've got here is, uh, yeah, interesting. We have, we have the chariot, so this is about taking control of your destiny, Pisces, okay? Now this will happen really fast once you make the decision to change it all up. This is a Cancerian card as well. So this is about, you know, this very deep feeling just like yourselves, a water element. This is all about your emotions. You need to rein in your emotions, Pisces, because, yeah, the, the retrograde, but it's spilling over. You, you need to try and gain balance and get back in control of your emotions, okay? You need to take action there. Stop looking at the past. They're saying nothing serves you there. The past should stay there. Okay, and um, again, this this points to you may be taking a journey here. There may be some sort of travel, and that's when you, you, you know, it helps you refresh your energy, Pisces. Being a water sign, I know it's a cliche. I don't want to say it because it's a cliche, but they've just said, perhaps when you travel, make sure you go to water, okay? Just because that's your element, it's going to reset you. It's going to bring you a lot more peace in your head. But these changes will come really quickly. When we get the chariot card um, in the traditional um, tarot, it, it's a very speedy process. Things are, you're going to like get news very quick, you know. So the the action that you 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 uh, implement um, will have a very quick uh, turnaround in terms of you seeing the rewards of you making those changes. Okay, you're getting justice there, Pisces. So whatever this past relationship is, you're getting this. Um, yeah, you're getting justice. The truth is coming out about a situation that's really going to just set you free. Okay? But they are saying again, don't be looking at your shoes. I keep saying it. Don't be looking at your shoes, Pisces. I hope it's going, it's going to drive me crazy the way they're saying it. But um, it says here, um, you're gaining that balance. This is a Libran card, okay? So it's saying that no matter which path you take now, once you make the decision to stop giving everything that you have in a relationship and that you you stop thinking about the past and look towards the future then it is a win-win situation okay the truth is going to come out about something Pisces and you're going to be ready for it okay so if this is again something you're looking uh, you know something happened in the past you're going to gain clarity on that okay but you will get the justice this is your time you're about to gain your balance back and you're going to succeed Okay, you've got the nine of um, swords here, so you, you're all up in your head. Okay, this is nightmares, this is grief, this is depression. You're in a really bad way, Pisces. And um, oh, I really feel for you. I, you know, I, I really wish I could like reach out there and hug some of you because I really feel that, you know, you just don't know which way to turn. You're completely, uh, you know, disoriented there, like very disruptive energy. You feel like you're in a lot of chaos. 
but this wonderful shift is coming for you and this like beginning of April into mid April is the complete turnaround okay and that's when happiness just floods on in for you giving you the opportunity to meet somebody new for those of you in a relationship you're in a lot of turmoil about this relationship the truth will come out whatever that may be and you will find a win-win situation solution to it a win-win solution there for your relationship okay it will be the end of that because you got the fountain to row okay that is the extra card that's in the deck there fountain to row it is an infinity infinity card it's about trusting your instincts and remembering that you are one with the universe you are spirit in a human form you are energy and consciousness in a human body having a human experience remember that you're all connected to the universe remember that you are connected you're not the mind you're not the body okay so what you think about you bring about because you are energy what you think about you attract to you so please remember that during this time especially when you're having a very dark time a very chaotic time remember that you have control you can take control over those emotions they do feel overwhelming okay we're all human you know we get you know it's sometimes it's very hard to pull ourselves out but you have to remember you have that control to change your mindset and once you do then all of the goodness the happiness the the, the sun card this abundance success in love will come to you pisces okay you got the death card now don't be scared of that this is big changes in your love life this is moving on from the, the past and having this rebirth okay this is again a scorpionic energy so this is like phoenix rising from the ashes you've been through the ringer you it's like you're walking from these flames and it's not that you were untouched because you really were it's a transformative energy you've come out of there with a lot of lessons learned and you're doing things in a different way and that's as we're heading on i'm going to put that over the strength card because damn you you sure need strength to go through that transition and you're coming out the other side pisces okay the worst of it is over that says we're heading on in from mid-march right through to mid-april so please be mindful they're asking for one more um even though that was so many cards i wouldn't normally give an extra one but since they want another thank you so much spirit guides guardian angels what do my beautiful pisces need to know um they've just <laughs> thank you so much <laughs> eight of cups yeah walk away from that past they are so on this they are so on this pisces you've got to leave that past behind you've got to withdraw from that move on okay some of you were abandoned and you felt like just when you had that very deep connection um something went wrong you were abandoned or you know it, someone ghosted you or something's happened there and you you're just left floundering in this water what they're saying to me is you know you you find it it's not that you find it easy to fall in love but you are open to be very romantic quite quickly with a person that you connect with on a very deep level and you know as soon as you meet a person how you know you know how the relationship will kind of go you're very intuitive but they're saying you find it very difficult when someone um you know it's almost like yeah it's like you don't recover as easily as other signs when it comes to heartbreak okay but they're saying please don't be looking at the past there nothing serves you that way just walk away from that they really want you to know you have to walk away from that there, there's nothing emotionally fulfilling in the past thank you so much for it again they've asked for another I'm sorry if this reading goes on for a while but they've asked for another you've got to okay you got a, a double clarifier here again you got another queen of cups okay so queen of cups energy you will be emotionally fulfilled after this this is so much happiness coming to you and why because six of cups that's why okay they just wanted to let you know that this is about um emotional fulfillment uh having a, a balanced relationship with another oh gosh I'll come to that in a moment. They've just said something. Okay, so so Queen of Cups energy here. Um, this is emotional fulfillment again. This is a nurturing, healing 
uh, time for you. You are very, you know, it's like you're wrapping yourself up in the deep there and you're just bathing and almost getting rid of all that past. Okay, this is mid, this is mid April now we're in for that. Okay, so yeah, it's like you're in this healing mode right now, Pisces, away from, you know, just getting away from the past, really processing stuff. It's just knocked you completely off your game there. Okay, so with the Six of um, Cups, in the traditional Tarot, okay, it talks of reunions with this cup, this Six of Cups, okay, but in this deck, this is about gaining um, that balance with another human, and it's about um, sharing your life with someone who wants to share it with you just as much back, okay, as you can see the two people there in, those, in that card, they're sharing the cups, all of the cups are completely full, they're in a bubble. It's almost like this beautiful, private, sensitive, emotional relationship. So again, I feel like you're, you're either um, dealing with a, a Leo here or Scorpio uh, energy, okay, when it comes to this other person that you will meet. Um, and this is going to be after April, um, after mid-April, okay? So for uh, mid-March through to mid-April, that... You just need to know that it's just going to be on the other side of that, okay? Because you're dealing with this disruptive energy. But the Six of Cups is a beautiful energy, and they just want you to be aware that this union is coming for you, and it is so much more that you've had in the than you've had in the past, Pisces. You have to know that. They want you to know that, okay? It's a gift from the universe. This is a gifts card. Okay, and you got to remember, we got the double clarifier for the four cups. Don't be looking at the past. Don't be down about the past. It's not going to serve you. Okay, there, it's bringing a gift on in there for you. This beautiful gift from the universe. This is a gifts cup, a uh, gifts card as well with the six of cups. And so you got a double clarifier there of four of cups, and you got a double clarifier of the queen of cups. And you got the Six of Cups. You've got the Sun card. You've got the World card. Both major arcanas. You've got the Fountain Tarot. You've got Transformation with the Death card. This is a life-changing moment for you, Pisces. It's almost like your path was on one trajectory. Then suddenly this disruptive thing came in there. You'll meet this person who will give you this wonderful advice and put you on another path to happiness right over here. Okay? And then you will meet this person once you have processed all of those emotions on the other side, we're talking mid-April time, this person comes on in, okay? So I hope this resonated for you, uh, my beautiful Pisces. I'm just going to give you, um, sorry, thank you, Spirit, I'm truly grateful. Um, just going to give you an Angel Oracle card um, by Doreen Virtue as a final um, message from Spirit. Oh, wow, there's a lot of messages. Is that too many? No, it's not too many. <laughs> I can't believe they're giving you all these cards. Wow. Okay, so they've got be honest with yourself. Okay, Pisces. Normally I take the one or two at max, but they've given you all of these and they said I've got to take them. So be honest with yourself. Look into your heart and you will know the truth of the situation. It's safe to admit the truth to yourself, for we will support and guide you through any necessary changes. Lean on us for courage and the strength to take good care of yourself. Focus only on your true desires and they'll come to you upon angels' wings. This is a time, Pisces, be honest. But also remember, all the stuff you have to ask for is for you, okay? Spirit will give you what you need, okay? You need to take good care of yourself. That's what they're saying. Cleanse and detoxify also. So from this past situation, you know, Pisces, um, you know, you need to cleanse yourself from it. But also, if some of you, double four cups there, if you've been, uh, you know, self-medicating with some alcohol because, you know, you're feeling really down about those emotions and stuff, totally get it. We're all human. There is no judgment here. But Spirit is saying maybe it's time to cleanse and detoxify in order to make way for that new. It says, with great love and respect, we ask you to detoxify your precious and sensitive body. At your request, will help you to develop life-affirming ways to deal with stress, as well as ease any sorrow at shedding your old ways. Give your cares, worries, and concerns to us and feel the beautiful grace of your newly pu uh, purified body. Okay, Spirit's asking you, Pisces, please give it up to them. They'll help you get over this, 
you know, this um, disruptive energy, this past depression, um, sorry, depression about the past, these really raw emotions, they will help you. But the answer is not in um, any form of substance. Now, again, there's no judgment here. If that's how you need to get through, that's not how you need to get through. Um, I'm not, you know, I'm not here to tell you what to do at all. Um, we're all human, but spirit is asking you to cleanse and detoxify. Okay. Be assertive Pisces. For those of you in a relationship, you need to tell them what you need. Okay. You can't sit there and expect the other person to read your mind and vice versa. They can, you know, you can't ask them to read yours. You cannot read theirs. Um, and it says this situation can be healed gently and with love as you've requested. Yet there's also a need for your strength and truthfulness with the other people involved. We will stand right behind you as you speak your truth, giving you strength and guiding your words. Okay, so again, it's a clarifier of that strength card. And be assertive to ask for what you want. Oh, the next card is ask. Yeah, so they really, really want you to do that, Pisces. They're, it's very important that you know that you can ask for help anytime and they will guide you. It says, ask us to help you in this situation and we will immediately go to work on your behalf. We're governed by many universal laws and among them is the free will that allows you to make your own choices and decisions. So we patiently await your request. They're here to guide you, Pisces. It is a dark time that you're going through, very confusing time. You're slightly off balance, but you're getting back on track. So much happiness and abundance is on the other side for you. Okay, closer to April, everything will level itself out and that's when you start to you meet this new person or the relationship that you've already um, got in motion um, and has been having some problems will come to a beautiful conclusion okay and remember to play Pisces remember that inner child is so important okay we all have to remember that it says, beloved one, it's time to set aside work for a while. Don't worry. We will oversee your responsibilities to their completion. Playfulness, gaiety, and laughter will lift your energy so that you'll return to work with a renewed perspective and heightened energy. Okay? So during that um, hangman energy when you're trying to gain clarity, remember to play, remember to laugh. Sometimes we get so caught up in our head and our emotions and we're so down, it brings the energy and the vibration right down and we can't bring it back up because it's so heavy. Remember to play. Remember, we're all in adult bodies, okay? But inside, we're just those little children who were born and had dreams and aspirations and, you know, wonderful desires. And uh, we're still that person. We're still that child. It's just we grew up and we have to pay bills and we have to do all that. But remember your inner child. Raise those vibrations with laughter. Celebrate. Three of cups. Come together with your good friends. The ones that have got your back. Support. Raise that vibration. They've got your back. They'll see you through this. Just don't be looking at the past, Pisces, okay? That's all they want you to know. Thank you so much, spirit, guys, guardian, angels. I'm truly grateful. I'm going to give you a trinket here. There you go. What does my beautiful Pisces need to know? Well, they want you to have the two. That's strange. <laughs> Spirit really have a sense of humor, okay? So they've given me some grapes, and they went, this is for the drinking. And I was like, what? This is for the... They just show me, like, a cup of wine. Okay, so they do have a very, very strange sense of humor. Thank you so much, Spirit. But you've got some grapes there. Don't be sour grapes. Don't be thinking of the past. This person from the past is very um, bitter. They're saying someone in the past is very bitter or there's a bitter situation. Okay. Um, you need to just get rid of those grapes. Those sour grapes about the past. Yeah, you would dealt a really bad, a bad run of it. But um, let it go. Okay. And someone in your past is bitter about something. They're trying to infiltrate your energy bring you down because of it you need to let them go okay walk away from the situation and for those of you again who are um really feeling depressed and down and they can't deal with it and they're like having some alcohol or whatever having too much maybe just you know they're sending a little message to just be mindful of that okay um i will never tell you what to do okay but i'm gonna put that on the four cups there i'm just telling you what spirit have given given me and Pisces, we got a mermaid. It's all about you, baby. 
Okay, we got that that mermaid that she's full of she's full of beauty, depth, sensitivity. You know, deep emotions, very charming, uh, refreshing, private. All of those wonderful, sexy things, Pisces. And this is you. Okay, spirit want you to remember by giving you this trinket. They want you to remember you. It's so important because you forget about you when you're doing everybody else. When you're making everybody else happy, when you're loving everybody else, you're forgetting to love yourself. And you're not being negative toward yourself, it's just you're not giving yourself enough energy that you give everyone else. So please remember you, don't get lost in it all. Okay? Spirit just want you to be mindful of that. So I'm going to give you... Oh, yeah, they said... I was going to put it on the fountain, but they went, no, Queen of Cups. So, um, yeah, I'm going to put the, um, the mermaid on the Queen of Cups there for that emotional depth and the grapes has gone with the four cups we, who could also be your ex they're saying could also be your ex drinking about drinking drinking a lot <laughs> uh, there's a lot concerning wine or, or some form of alcohol here um okay so i hope this resonated with you my beautiful pisces this one was a tough reading i have to let you know very tough reading uh, very uh, a lot of swirling energy there so I hope it resonated for some of you you're going to get through this you're going to get through the other side it's going to be beautiful so much abundance and this wonderful beautiful six of cups energy this wonderful relationship uh, they've asked me to show you again because there is a little plant in the cup in between them okay and this is planting the seeds of a beautiful new relationship that will grow into something huge and deep and meaningful and they want you to know okay it's unusual after a trinket once I've done trinkets unusual for them to ask me to show you a card again but I think that's never happened so they really really want you to know beautiful love is on the other side it's just a little bit troublesome right now don't worry Pisces it's all gonna turn good my thoughts are with you thank you so much for uh, listening my beautiful Pisces if it resonated for you, please like or subscribe to my channel. Please ring the bell. That's very important, apparently. Uh, it lets me know that you've connected with the reading, but lets uh, me know that, uh, sorry, lets you know when I've updated my next message as well. Also, please put an inspirational quote in the box below that really uh, helped you through a, a, a difficult time so that we can raise each other's vibrations. Someone else may need to hear the inspirational quote. I will go through them all and I will choose one lucky subscriber to win a ring just like this and I'll make it just for you and send it off um, as a thank you with a few extra little trinkets just to say thank you uh, for your time and your energy. I've, I've waffled on enough Pisces, I'm going to go now. Thank you so much my beautiful Pisces. Love and light.